With that excessive heat uh, on the way, there's a new warning to limit your exposure to unhealthy air outside today. And that's especially important if you have asthma or other lung related illnesses. Michigan is getting a warning for its third ozone action day in less than two weeks. 7 Action News reporter Matthew Smith is live in Farmington Hills. And Matt, what do we need to know if we're going to be outside today? Well, you want to get your stuff outside early if you're in Farmington Hills. They're just trying to help their workers avoid the heat. But for you personally, if you're older or maybe you have a kid at home, you got to pay close attention, especially if you're a parent, because sometimes lung damage happens on these days and kids don't always know to speak up. In Detroit, we have a history of building, making stuff from assembly lines to energy. Detroit is full of creators. The tough part is we also create a lot of things that plague us to this day, including pollution. We're really concerned about um, the elderly and the children. If you ask Dr. Fatima, she'll tell you days like today are important. Ozone action days trigger issues for both young and old, and especially those with asthma or COPD. And what are we talking about here? You likely know about the ozone layer high in the sky, but on these hot days, imagine it dropping low to the ground. Everything from industrial pollution to what comes out of our tailpipes adds to the mess. But unlike the ozone in the sky, this close to the ground when we breathe it in, it gets dangerous. We believe that small actions taken by many individuals can make a difference. And so this is one way that each resident think about ways that they can reduce the amount of air pollution. That can be as simple as dropping the AC a few degrees to lower your energy costs, carpool, or make fewer trips. If you need gas, wait until the sun is down. That even has an effect. Statistically, our industrial pollution is down from decades ago. But as we've seen protests and concerns in our industrialized neighborhoods, we know we're far from perfect. A recent air quality report graded as 12th worst nationally for year-round pollution, noting ozone can even shorten life itself. Be more cognizant of children, especially those, again, who are asthmatic or have lung problems, to really be on the lookout for those types of symptoms. The idea that you don't have to carpool, I know that it's not fun for everybody. One thing you can do, not top off your gas itself. If you don't do that, you're putting a little bit less issues into the air, a little less pollution, and at ozone, it'll be a little bit lower. With tomorrow's heat, we're expecting another ozone action day. Guys, this is the stuff that can hurt those, especially with asthma, COPD, or MS. We're live in Farmington Hills this morning. Matthew Smith, 7 Action News. All right, thank you, Matt, for that great advice on this blistering day.